Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're going to be doing a line painting. We're going to be using gold, silver, black, and white. And we're going to be using our edge painter. And today I'm actually painting on canvas, not paper. So we're going to be doing that. And all right, so we are basically just going to run our paints across and then we're going to pull those paints with the edge painter. So we'll go ahead and put it into the lines and then we will paint it and make our painting. All right, so we'll start with white just because it's the closest to me. And we'll run it in little lines to kind of get the paint going in the direction we want it to. And I think that's probably good. Eh, actually, I'm going to try to do a little thick bar right there. And then we'll go ahead and do our black. That's good. I'll do like a little line in there. And I think that's a, we'll fill in the gaps if we need to. Oh, uh, got a piece of, got a little piece of crusty in there. So we'll put our gold on there. Man, I, f I love using the gold like Gold in the paintings just really kind of gives them character. And I, I think it's not only just because it's gold, but because it's a different type of paint, it kind of breaks up the monotony. So the gold and silver are the only paints really the, that I use that aren't um, gloss enamel, but they're already shiny. So maybe that counts, I don't know. All right. And right there silver hmm. we'll run it across the top to kind of make sure we fill the whole thing all right so we've got the whole thing filled in let's go ahead and paint it so we'll start at the top and usually on these paintings i have to do two passes on the top because it's so dry Yeah, see, it's still, like, there's parts that aren't uh, covered because there wasn't enough paint. So we're going to try to fill in a little bit of those gaps here. And then we're going to go over it one more time. probably enough all right so what that means is there probably isn't enough in some of these other sections so i'll go ahead and put a little more paint on there okay so let's go ahead and try it again
across the end there. Alright, so we'll go over it again. So, there's a lot of white space up here that I want to cover. I almost, I kind of have to because... There. Okay, and that's it. Um, so, let's kind of cover up some of these areas that didn't get it. <clears throat> so the only row that I'm not 100% sold on is this row. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go over it again. I don't want to, but... Yeah, see, I just lost that nice ring of gold in the middle, but I mean, it is what it is. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to run the hedges. So you can see that we kind of shifted the painting by doing that. So I'm going to flip it over. And what we're going to do is we're going to run it back through. Yeah, that no, looks like crap. Well, we uh, we did it too much. <laughs> I, I went over it too many times. And this is, so this, I guess what we'll take away from this, because I went over it too many times, is uh, we'll, we'll kind of turn this into like a cautionary tale. You see, if you go over it too many times with gloss enamel, the problem is, is that they mix together and they become muddy. And I've talked about this many times. But you know where we had those distinct colors of line, now it's all really just gray. Um, and this is what happens if you keep going over those colors over and over again. So, I mean, I wasn't planning on selling this painting and I, it didn't turn out good, but it's because I made that mistake of, you know, trying to overcorrect, over and correct. And this is just what happens. So we'll kind of take this away as like a cautionary tale and just a a heads up to you if you ever use um, gloss enamel that 
you can't keep going over it too many times or it starts to mix. Actually, even, you know, oil and acrylic can do the same thing. It's just the nature of gloss enamel being so thin, um, it makes this very easily. And especially when you use black in your painting, that can happen. Um, it's very easy for it to happen. So don't do it. Um, again, it, yeah, I'm really disappointed, but at the same time, I kind of knew what was going to happen if I kept messing with it and I did. So it's really, it's really my fault. But anyway, that's it. Um, I would not recommend painting the edges, you know, while it's still drying. Um, I kind of had an idea once I went over it too many times that it was going to be right anyway. So, but I wanted to show you that you could use those edge painters to do the edges as well. You probably just want to wait. Most of the time I'll paint my edges black. Um, I'll just, I'll paint my painting and then once it's dry, I'll paint the edges black, but totally up to you. Um, but that's it for the video. So hopefully we can take something away from it. Just, you know, you gotta be patient and you gotta kind of do the slow strokes. I went over it too many times. I kind of knew halfway through that, that I had done that. So you just take it as a loss, I guess, and kind of move on. And yeah, that's it guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. See you guys.